Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks Hunt. Today's video we are going to be shooting the new Hoyt Twin Turbo. Um, basically the Redworks version of the turbo. So super excited to get dialed in on this thing and see how it performs. So if you want to see my thoughts on the Twin Turbo, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, first up, just checking that balance of that bow. Feels like it just sits right there in your hand, pretty pretty steady. Um, let's draw it back though and see how that draw cycle is on the turbo. Um, it's been a while since I've shot a turbo. When I bought my Defiant, I was looking at the Defiant turbo and it just was awful. But they've definitely come a long ways. It's a little aggressive. It is set at 70 pounds, 30 inch draw. No jump forward in it. There is just a little bit um, hand vibration, but I think it might just be from those turbo cams just trying to come around a lot quicker. That draw cycle though, let's see. It's definitely a lot smoother than They've been in the past, but it's, <laughs> I think he jumps. <laughs> Let off is pretty good, but when you come forward like that thing wants to go. I really want to know how fast this thing is shooting. I feel like it holds pretty good. Um, I do like, I, I do like the placement of the stabilizer here. I run like a, an 11 inch on my, Ventum and I'll probably end up putting that on my RX-7 if I If I bought it so we'll have to see um, but this I don't know the hand shock is there. It's definitely more than the uh, RX-7 But it's nothing unenjoyable um, I'm really curious to see the speed. The weight of it is it's pretty heavy to be considered a carbon bow. I'll throw it on the scale and see, as well as checking the actual weight of the draw. Um, it's supposed to be at 70, it's sitting at 30 inch draw. So we're gonna run it through the chronograph, see the speed that it is shooting, and decide if it would be one that I take home. All right, time to shoot it through the chronograph. First up, um, we are gonna be shooting the 520 grain arrow. Again, it's set up at 70 pounds at 30 inch draw. Let's go with 520 grain arrow. I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty quick. At 291, holy crap. With a four, or 520 grain, here is my 480 grain arrow. Three oh one. And then here's a 440 grain. So it's the lightest arrow that I've ever shot or hunted with. Getting 440, 70 pounds, 30 inch draw, twin turbo at 310. That thing's shooting pretty dang quick and it does feel good in the hand. You do feel like it does have that extra speed, but it doesn't feel like it wants to jump out of your hands like previous turbos that they've had. I mean, it's been a while since they've had one like that, but Overall, with I'm, I'm really happy with that speed, 310. I'd be interested interested to see what he'd be getting at like 100 yards. See, you know how how far it carries that that speed. Um, shoot a few more times in the range. See that string angle. Pay attention to the uh, back wall. Just see if it's solid or if it's a little bit spongy. But other than that, so far so happy. So so far so good. Uh, let's head over to the range real quick and take a few more shots. All right, let's get the weight. Should be sitting at 70 pounds, but we'll see. 72.8 on the high end, and then the weight of the bow itself, 5.4. Okay, let's check out this back wall on the turbo. It's 
pretty that's pretty actually pretty solid not really any movement there that pretty solid back wall um, string angle it is 30 so it is a little steeper than what it'd probably be for me at 29 but it's not not bad at all in very comfortable position I think he's got some serious speed um, if I ordered one I'd probably do it in like 80 pounds and so it'd be sitting speed wise with my 520 grain arrow be pushing over 300 I would assume um, weight of it's really not that bad um, it does feel just it is a little bit heavier than um, that RX-7 I did weigh that one yesterday and I don't know it's pretty sweet if you like having that little extra speed and a little bit more give on it I think, I don't think you could go wrong with it. I don't really have any complaints. It does, I mean, have a little bit of hand vibration, but nothing crazy. The draw's not the smoothest, but it's not the worst, that's for sure. It does have like a, like a, I don't know how to explain it. I've said this before, but like a high pitch zing to like the vibration, it just kind of gives a little bit, but uh, nothing too crazy. Honestly, I got no complaints about it. I would have, I'd have a fun time shooting it, um, especially at long distances. That's probably why I would buy this bow. It would try to get out 150 plus yards just at the range for fun. Um, yeah anyway that's gonna wrap it up today guys just want to give you a reminder i do have my giveaways going on right now to win the two bows and five thousand dollars to donate to wishes for warriors um, one in 500 only 500 entries for that total giveaway so just trying to give as many bows away this year as i can that's gonna wrap it up huge thanks to all of you guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button really appreciate it. and big thanks to terry here at tnt archery for letting me come on in and shoot bows to show you guys if it's good or not so it's gonna be it see you guys next time